If you do lose power, that could mean a host of obstacles, including how to stay warm as the temps drop again, Melissa. Of course, before you break out the uh, backup power, it is important to do so safely. News 9 Sabrina Lee, she is live in Wausau right now. She has some of the do's and don'ts for alternative power. Hey guys, while it was warm today, tomorrow's temperatures and tonight's temperatures are expected to be below freezing. So if you do lose power, it, officials say that in order to, while seeking to stay, keep warm, you're going to want to do so carefully, or you could make a bad situation even worse. Backup generators are a popular way of powering up when the lines go down, but it's important to remember you can't just plug them in anywhere or with anything. One of the main dangers, carbon monoxide, the odorless, colorless gas, can build up, leading to a deadly situation. You know, making sure that those generators are being operated uh, outdoors in a well-ventilated area so that they are running safely uh, and that they're not, again, leading to a situation where you could have a buildup of carbon monoxide uh, indoors. Experts say if you feel sick, dizzy, or weak, get fresh air right away. And if those symptoms are serious, seek immediate medical attention. Before plugging anything into a generator, you'll want to plug the device into the extension cord first, and then plug that cord into the generator. The type of cord you use is also important. Uh, also, if they're going to use a generator, we recommend that they only use three-prong extension cords to be able to plug devices and items into that generator. When it comes to losing power, fire officials say that having a backup plan is always important, even if you don't have a generator. Uh, making sure you have some sort of plan, even if it's um, extra blankets, uh, food, batteries for the radio, making sure your phones are charged before the power is out if it does go out, um, and all those little simple things you don't think about on a day-to-day basis. Above all, safety officials say that sticking to a manual and being aware of your surroundings is the best way to stay safe. Live in Wausau, Sabrina Lee, News 9 WAOW.